Oh my goodness, I made some uh, turkey bacon with um, English muffins with mayonnaise and mustard. I will usually lettuce, but if I put lettuce on there, it's a cup of coffee. It is so good. But anyways, I'm sitting here watching TV and eating my food. You know what came to my mind? Now I get it. Okay, you know the movie Divorce Corp, C-O-R-P, like corporation? We were featured, well, I was featured in that, right? And my young son. And it's on, uh, I guess, Ruko, was it Ruko and uh, Tubi? We can just Google it on YouTube. And I'm at the end holding a yellow sign. That's me. And we were in front of the courthouse, family court. And it brought nationwide attention. And then I had did a nationwide protest in regards to the family court um, issue with the fraud, corruption, um, uh, manipulating records, and taking children under false pretenses, and even into pedophiles, and you know, a father had killed his daughter right here in Sacramento, a bunch of stuff. Then fast forward, um, um, I became a whistleblower. So I was wondering, like, now I see because this um, real estate agent who's an attorney um, in that same court, local court, and, you know, who kept following me, harassing me, and I was following my documents, I was working on my documents, and I didn't know at the time that my computer was attached to, you know, the office people, because they had that satellite um, thingy on my, um, on my building, which was under my kitchen. I'm going to post it again on my community tab soon. And um, then from there, they were blocking me, and then they started spreading rumors. And of course, they started sending these people to me, and after they needed help with child support and shit like that, they were trolling me on um, on Face, I mean on YouTube. And I can't, in my views since 2017 were <laughs> still the same way than my subscribers, right? So I was making a little bit of money, and then they stopped that, you know. So um, I never, uh, you know. Um, tackle that right now because you know lots of it's a lot there's a lot of them and i'm only one person trying to do it all so um so that's when the sheriff gets involved i have put a sheriff officer in uh, a deputy rather in my lawsuit so that's that's where they get involved coming to my apartment stealing my things stealing my hard drive stealing my court family court documents and i was wondering like what's my family court documents got to do with it now i see why because the fraud, I had a lot of, well, I still have them, but I have to find them. Um, a lot of information in regards to uh, the fraud that perpetuated on my case. And with this Nigerian attorney, oh, well, then at the time, and she's a judge now, she changed the record. She did a child support, I mean, a custody hearing, and a child support, um, you know, modification, whatever it was, which was, you know, unlawful. It was wrong and it took me many years to get that situated and it won't give me remedy all the way up to the supreme court all the way to the federal court because of the federal court in my town the eastern district one of them used to sit on the city council um sacramento, sacramento city council and um that's where jennings is um who's also a city council member who has the, the men's rights group you know, father, something, whatever it's called. And that's why that one guy who came to me for child support, for child support and they stole my documents, they brought that to that person, you know, you know, allegedly, you know, like, like, like they did develop those forms that I did, which is not true, because they, they can't even do shit. They didn't know anything. They were asking me, picking my brain. And um, it's a bunch of stuff, a bunch of information. But yeah, now I see, because you brought attention to Sacramento, and they had sent this one girl, I forgot her name, but the white chick, and um, and they had stopped the production for a while, you know, of the film to be released, and they wanted to view the film, take stuff out, put this in, da 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 da, da. and um, but eventually they got um, the film was released, and now it's on, like I said, it's on YouTube, it's on uh, Netflix, uh, Tubi, uh, Ruko. Uh, word of streaming is called Divorce Corp, C O R P, corporation, which means if you look, if you read into the lines, they didn't say everything, but it had to modify because Sacramento, they had um, basically 
kind of stop the filming. You know, and it's called Divorce Corp. Corporation fraud. And like I said, I'm at the end of that movie holding a sign, a yellow sign. It says, it says something about um, change now or something like that. I'm at the end. Yep. <laughs> and you see us protesting in front of the family court. That's what it is. That's what they're doing. That's why somebody contacted me and told me to, to go underground. Or what they say, oh, get off the radar or some shit like that. And I'm like, why? Why? Now I see it. Now. And that's why the retired judge, Mize, came up to the shelter and I guess gave some information to them, causing problems. They spread her rumors that I killed my mom and um, all kind of shit. One girl said, I believe it. I believe she did something to her mother. I'm like, what? Like, what the hell? One lady, she knew that my sister had damaged my car. You know, like they're all from the Highlands and they're all living in the shelter like, like, like they were hiding or something. Oh my God. And don't, don't, don't get me talking. And then the lady, Monica, is what had died of just a heart failure. And ironically, yeah, I could have sworn I'd seen her the other day. I could have sworn I'd seen her, but I was driving so fast. You know, I looked at her. I said, isn't that the Monica they said that she passed away? No, because she's the one who, who knew everything that was left in my apartment when I got it wrongfully evicted. She's like, nobody keeps encyclopedias anymore, but I do. You know what I'm saying? And I had a stand in there. I had a couple of um, monitors, you know, the old monitors, the CRT monitors. I had a lot of stuff in there, my shoes, clothes, some of some stuff. Because I, I had to hurry up. But people were telling me it was unlawful. I shouldn't have moved, but you know, I didn't have the law in front of me and nobody would help me. When we want agency to help me, but I didn't have the money because they just blocked me on DoorDash to make money. You know what I'm saying? It was very, it was very unfortunate, but he's going to get his. Yeah, Warren Smith is part of it, and that's, that's why Patty Camacho, the wife, allegedly, well, she's the wife of him because something had happened, and I believe he was accused of something, and she married him for whatever reason, and um, she had said something like, don't worry, we got somebody in the courthouse. And I said, huh. And then, and then she mentioned that there was a satellite following me around. Okay, they have big mouths. They talk a lot. The people, they're rude. That's why they come over here where I'm at now. This Caucasian dude with a black car. He, was, he followed me all the way to my son's appointment. And then when I seen him, when I seen him at the apartment where I'm at now, at the leasing office, once I leased the office, I said, oh, okay. Because they were giving information. You know what I'm saying? And they better have a warrant for it, too. And every agency I'm going to, I'm going to tell them. I said, if you give any information without a warrant or a, or a legitimate court order, your grounds for lawsuit. That's why they told me I need to find another primary care. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they gave me information unlawfully. These crazy-ass, psychotic people. Watch what I do.